Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine there. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about one trick and the trick is uh, related to step response and impulse response in second order system. So let's say this is our second order system. So this is the general form of second order system. K is uh, represented as steady state gain of the system and the input is K naught UT. K naught is you can say height of the input. Okay, it's not a unit step input. It's some step input. Okay, so the output uh, if you look at the output and if you look at the graph of the output, uh, how the uh, output is varying with time. So I have plotted the graph of the output. So output varies like this. We, we, we all know that. Okay. And uh, the steady state value of the output can be calculated with the help of steady state gain of the system and the steady state value of the input. So steady state value of the input is K naught and steady state gain is K. So if you multiply them, you will get the output steady state value. So output steady state value is K K naught. So ultimately the output will settle about KK naught and it will settle like this. Okay. Now at this time, this is the peak time. At this time, you will get the maximum output YT max and that YT max is KK naught into 1 plus e to the power minus pi zeta divided by 1 minus zeta square. So this represents MP. Okay. So this, this overshoot, this overshoot is MP KK naught e to the power minus pi zeta root of 1 minus zeta square. Okay, so this is our oversuit. Now, if I go for the impulse response, then the impulse response will look like this. Impulse response will look like this. And the interesting part is, this graph is just the differentiation of this, because we know that impulse is the derivative of step. So if you differentiate from this to this, you can take the derivative. Okay, if you take the derivative, you'll reach here. Or you can say that from here to here, if you integrate, then you can go from this point to this point. It means this response is just the integration of this. And you can also see that at this point, the derivative is 0. At this point, the derivative is 0, 0, 0. So you can see that at this point, impulse response is 0. At this point also, impulse response is 0 because the derivative is 0 at this point. That's why. At this point also, the slope is 0, the derivative is 0. That's why it's 0. So you can say that this is the peak time. In the impulse response, wherever the response goes to zero, that point is also represent the peak time. So this is our peak time. Okay, and it means in impulse response, at the at the time at which it will give uh, you zero value, it will give you zero value. At that time, you will get the maximum output in step response. Okay, so this is our peak time. This is the time to first undersuit. Okay, this is the time to first oversuit. I hope you got the point. Okay. Now there is one more interesting point. We know that integration is just an area. Okay. So if you take the area of this part from 0 to TP, if you take the area of this, this part only, that will represent this height. Okay. It means the area of this part will represent this height. K K naught into 1 plus. Okay. So remember this point because sometimes what happens is they will give you the impulse response and they will ask you about the step response. But let me tell you guys, the area is equal to this value only if the input is k naught delta t only if the input is k naught delta t if the input is k naught delta t then only you can say that the area will be k k naught into 1 minus uh, 1 plus e to the power minus pi zeta divided by. if the input is only impulse let's say then this area will not be this height then the area you can replace k naught now you can you can remove this k naught now now this area will be the area will be k into 1 plus e to the power minus pi zeta divided by 1 minus zeta square. This will be the area and this will not be equal to this height. It means actually what you are doing is you are if you are differentiating this, you will get k naught delta t. And if the input is k naught delta t, then only you can say that this area represents this height. If the input is delta t, let's say, then this area will become, this k naught will be removed, okay? This k naught will be removed. This area will become k into 1 plus e to the power minus pi zeta divided by 1 minus zeta square. This will not be equal to this height. Actually, you have to multiply this area, this, this area with the k naught. Then only you will get this maximum height. So you have to be very careful. I mean, don't, don't cram it. You have to be very smart in remembering this. So from impulse response, you can get the idea of step response as well. Okay, but you have to be very careful that this area represents this height only if the input is k naught delta t. Okay, this this response is due to k naught delta t, and this this is the response due to k naught ut. It means the the factors should be same. 
then only you can say that the area will represent this maximum height okay and these points these points are very important these points are very important so you can directly relate this response to this response okay sometime this type of question may come in exam i hope you enjoyed this uh, this concept so this type of uh, small small concept will uh, will you'll see in future also so don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this session and uh, share this video to your friends also thank you guys uh, see you in the next video take care bye